okay? I'm asking all the players this. Mm. Uh, give me one word to describe this split. Stressful. Positive. Progress. I keep thinking of two words. I was just gonna say above expectations. Probably roller coaster. <laughs> it's really hard for me to do that because I'm not a like first language English speaker, so it's really hard. It's impossible. So comparative to like last year, for example, um, our players didn't really do any third blocks. It was always just, you play your two blocks, six games a day, and then that was kind of it for the whole split. Whereas with these guys, Song had them playing triple blocks three days a week sometimes. And these guys were really putting a lot of effort from pretty much day one. They were playing nine, 10 games a day, just going really, really hard, trying to improve, trying to work on all that team uh, cohesion they needed to get to catch up to where these other teams were. Since overall, we weren't the most mechanically skilled team, so we have a lot of space that we had to make up, and we did that through just a lot of work and a lot of hard work from these guys being here until 9, 10 o'clock at night pretty much every day, and they put in a really good grind, and it showed near the end where it paid off when Rush came back in and they were able to make playoffs. So as of right now, our plan against TSM, TSM likes to play uh, early game snowballing competitions for the most part. Um, they did play like a Zillion Kindred team comp that like kind of outscaled uh, against TL on Sunday, but overall I think TL strafts were just really bad both days, so I wouldn't expect too much about TSM, like they're not this crazy insanely good team or anything. Um, we've matched up really well against them before and just got a little bit unlucky in our gameplay or um, we weren't quite where we are at now in terms of like how good we are. So uh, don't think about TSM as like this insanely good team. They're definitely not. Uh, they're very, very beatable. Just going into it, I was excited. You know, I, I wanted to beat these guys and I, I knew that we could we could take them down. Um, I knew the, they were still strong, but like I just wasn't like too worried or anything. I'm actually pretty super confident in our match with TSM today. We played them twice very closely during the regular season and there's I know they're on this big on this big run, they've been eleven and one in the last twelve games, but our guys are on a, a streak of their own and I think they have the confidence of the games that they played against TL and against C9 and even the two games that we played against uh, TSM pretty closely. So I think we're gonna take this and I'm very confident of them and just proud of where they've come to up until this point time already. This is the test. Echo Fox on a four game winning streak, including beating number one and two. But TSM have only lost one game since back in week three. They are the hottest team in North America. They are many teams' favorites, and we're ready to go into this game. Does he get the big play? Finds two taunts, goes in, looks for Rush, gets the ultimate down. Now the fight starts in 5v5, looks for the big stuns. Stopwatch comes in, Broken Blade is low, Solo can revive. He's gonna find both revives here, but already Jarvan is dead. One for zero in favor of Echo Fox. They push back TSM. He's sleeping! Oh! The double kill! So he finds them both! Phoenix makes that fight work! And that match, we were the more proactive team against TSM, and we didn't really give them the room to dictate the pace of the game. Watch out for there you go, you go. I can't save you slowly. Save you slowly. Save you slowly. I'm hey, they're carrying hey, Gally, 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 Gally. Hey, Gally, 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 Gally. Hey, this guy. Hey, come, 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 come. I, I almost killed the, the carry, okay? Hey, hey, hey I nice. killed the carry, okay? Okay, okay, okay. We need help over here. Okay, I'm coming. Wait, 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 wait. Push me, push me, push me. Sorry, push me. Hey, I need help, I need push help, I need help, I need help. Okay, working on it, working on it, working on it. Yeah, we got him, we got him, we got him. Let's go in, go in. I'll kill, I'll kill. Go push me, come in, come in, come in, come in. Yo, dead. Did you kill Zillion? Go on, Can you stop, just stop doing this, I'll kill Zillion. We got this. I got it, I got it, I got it. I Nice. Yeah, go, 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 go. It's 100% over. Yeah, First sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, nice. let's focus, let's focus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Echo Faust came into the playoffs, beating Team Liquid, beating Cloud9, and in this best of five, they are also beating TSM. Who gets up Echo Fox? We've got more games to see, but game one goes to the underdogs. Game one. Game one. Game one. We just won game one. We're one and oh. People basically all predicted us to 03, so we're already up on predictions right now. Two more, and it's ours. It's really not Echo Fox, Playoff Fox right now. So I'm just trying not to get overconfident. Hope the guys aren't either. We came back some, some pretty bad plays as well, and then they hop right back in and then make good plays out of it. So the momentum's on our side. We just have to keep it going. Just keep it going. Keep it going. Into this series we go. 1-0 Echo Fox.
And TSM need to answer back before too long. We are on to the rift for game two. And TSM ready for this turn. They've got most ults, not Galio. We've seen that one before, but this looks likely. Up on the Hakuo, decent damage. Ult's not gonna land. Here comes Package and Bjergsen zoned out. Can they find the play? Smoothie's gonna drop, but will they go for the Baron? The kills come through on a one. A second one picked up now for the Jinx. This might be an Echo Fox team fight. Look out for Bjergsen though. He's trying to find the stun. Look at Apollo. Drops down to Broken Blade. A double kill for the new top laner. Looking for a third. Solo gonna drop as well. And here's the chase down. Hakuo first is the world, and there is the red. TSM with the ace, and with three alive, they will claim the Baron. We're waiting for the front line on a solo, looking now on a Phoenix, there goes Bjergsen, self both they push him all the way back, and nothing's gonna stop TSM. The dunk won't matter, the feast, enough on a smoothie, but supports don't win games. The Nexus does, and TSM ties it up. So we were uh, in a relatively tricky situation, I would say, for us, because we wanted to be blue side so we had multiple bands that we could use to target uh, mostly broken blade but i would say tsm in general and that's like one of the strengths of blue side whereas one of the strengths on red side is you get counter pick in in potentially two lanes uh, and usually tsm was saving it for uh, top and for ad <laughs> we were kind of stuck in the situation where we needed to ban irelia and akali and we wanted to take like those strong picks away from tsm and um <clears throat> it put us in this spot where TSM was getting to play competitions that they continuously won with throughout the series. I think it would be maybe really better with Sandra. Anyway, they go to the Galio and the Hacker Reflex. Even against the Kakali, Kakali too. Just banning Galio is much better than banning Galio and Sandra. Just play for our champion. Like yeah. Our just more variable about Baros or something like that. Even worst case, we go to the Tartar stage too. So TSM could still have a slaughter of an early game. The coaches shake hands. We'll see what this one looks like here. Either way, one team is heading to match point. The Tide series in a best of five. But they're trying now for Acadian. Paco will land. What he can press. They find the Q, looking for a little bit more. Does not have flash. This could be the damage, and a trade kill comes in crucially to the Kog'Maw. Nice shot there by Phoenix. Pulls Acadian back in. And now they will be able to get yeah. the Drake here. Infernal Drake picked up. Bottom lane pushing for them. Apollo and Hakuo so stable for this team yet again. Finding some pressure here. Baron buff goes down. They can duck Sven. They should have what they need for it, but Rush doesn't press the button. Instead, they've got the rest of the team re-engaging on them. And Hakuo is not going to have a health bar for very long. There's the fear and the dive in. Can't quite kill off Rush. It is a trade of kills, but getting rid of the top lane is a pretty big deal. Rush going to drop right away, but can Kogma re-engage? Here comes Bjergsen. Finds the stun. In goes Sven. Down goes the Caterpillar. And down goes the rest of Echo Fox. The quick revive. And down is Swain. And Solo's left alone, true to his name. He will drop the second ace in a row for TSM. I mean, I, I thought I played okay. I mean, I, I, I played well, I guess, but I thought I played pretty poorly game three, at least laning. I don't know. I was doing okay, but I, I mean, I could have done more. We ended up losing, so I didn't play well enough to win. TSM, a game away from making it back to the semifinals. What they did last time in summer, and getting revenge against Apollo, Hakuo, and Solo. Looks like they got the time, going for the shots, going for the quick KDA, and there goes the Nexus. TSM, one game away from semis. And here we go. This could be the last one of the series in TSM at the semifinals. Echo Fox hoping to stop that one in its tracks. Hey, oh, ben, though. Ben, very far up. He's going to be charmed, knocked into the air. Where did he go? He killed himself off. And they found a charm out of Bjergsen as well, but he has a flash. Here comes Smoothie. Big damage. They trade back the support. But this four on four, I got to say, probably favors Echo Fox. But that's Rousey. He burns the zone. Yes, not going to land the paddle star. Solo's got to run. The flash pulverized. And Acadian finds his prey. And this could be all that it took. 4v3 to push into the base. This could be it. Looking for the kill in a broken blade. Not gonna find the knockup. 4v3 to push to close down the series. Three to one, the score line. Into the semifinals, into their next opponent. Broken Blade pulls back and they find the first next turret. They're gonna find number two. Echo Fox must do something or they will lose their base. But Bjergsen kites back. They find that flash pulverized. Phoenix is low. They don't get him just yet. But TSM, you hear it from the crowd. They have won and they're into the semifinals. That's called spring split. <laughs> right? Not summer split. Yeah, yeah.
I know it doesn't feel good right now. But that's how we go back to work, right? Yeah. Go back to work, get better. Look forward to a couple months from now, man. Yeah. Right. We only have press requests for. <laughs> you know why? I was thinking there's a couple more people. Yeah. You know why they try and take you? To your the image is so kind. You know, they can do whatever. They can do whatever they want to me. No, seriously. Paul looking at the hundred games in a row. It's okay, guys. Me, we got this one, next one. Me and Kuri not getting interviewed. For you, or is scary? So guys, yeah. Tomorrow, uh, today, just. I hope I want to say the unlucky but <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, just we had chess win. Yeah, we had chess win and they just played better. So. Yeah, so I think yeah, like we don't need to too much like depress about the today result. I think we did it very well, but like I'm pretty sure the second game was the big turn for the Bidui team. Yes, but yeah, the game result is. Whatever, but the game games was actually we improved the uh, improved the uh, a lot of stuff, a lot yeah. of things stuff. So we definitely improved our things. So we can better we we can make uh, the better the summer spread. So don't don't be pissed about that. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I mean, nobody thought it would be in playoffs two weeks ago, so. Yeah. 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 I'm not too I think. I mean, we no, the, I know you. We had the chance, so. Yeah, yeah. I knew about this. So. Compared to last season, this season, uh, this year, everyone like, kind of like enjoying their life and always smile, always happy, and everyone has positive mind. That's why I like this play. I think we already like have overcome like people's low expectations. So, like before season start, people like expected or assumed us that we are gonna be like last place or maybe like second worst team. But we made a playoff. So maybe like if we keep doing it, like improving and even if people think uh, we're gonna be at best maybe playoff team. But if we keep improving and work as a team, maybe we can go world or maybe we can win. Yeah, I think there was some talk too from some people about maybe we weren't the team that deserved playoffs the most or uh, that, you know, maybe we shouldn't have been there. But I think we showed that we had a lot of fight in us and that we did deserve to make playoffs. Uh, we had made a lot of improvement from where we started off in the split. And overall, there were only two teams that we hadn't taken a win off of, which were TSM and CG, uh, which is really interesting since they're on polar opposite ends of the leaderboard. Um, but it, I think that really showed that we had a consistent ability to beat any team on a good day. And we were able to finally get one win off TSM too, which was nice. In general, we just blew expectations out of the water uh, this split, and it was something that I thought was pretty remarkable uh, coming from coming from Song, coming from like the other staff, and coming from the players. Just how hardworking everyone is, and how dedicated everyone is to in improving their craft. So, in my opinion, the the key for all of this coming together is actually just Coach Song. He's a really good coach, and he understands. Uh, what our blocks are, what we need to get over, like the things that we have to fix before we can become a great team. And he's been talking about it since week one. Yeah, all of the players improve about that part, each other. I saw the what point struggling for them, and then I just trade them and then trade them for the, their weakness. I think our team will be a lot better come summer, because I think we were fixing a lot of our issues near the end of the split. And I think come summer, as long as we're like more focused and want to actually improve and go for the playoffs, I think we can easily make it. I'm going in the off season. I want to like still maintain like a pretty high level of practice because there isn't you know a massive break in between splits. So I still want to stay sharp and um, make sure that I'm not slacking at all. Coming into summer, my expectations are set that uh, we will push really hard for playoffs as well. Uh, we should be able to make it if, if we make all the right steps going leading into that and then we have we have even more potential than we did this split so uh, we'll be able to work off of the things that we finished from last split and just carry that over and I think that's pretty exciting. I think something that was amazing about our Oregon, our staff and and our players yeah, what are you saying about our players? <laughs> you talking shit? Yeah, I'm talking shit. Talk shit about me? Yeah. On camera? Yeah, on Is that what camera. you do? Talk shit about me on camera? That's the only time I get to talk shit about you. Alright.